All right, guys, if you've seen my unboxing video, welcome back to the channel and thank you. For those who haven't seen this unboxing video, I'll leave a link down below and above where you can find this. I think it's pretty cool. All right, so we have the drone here and as typical, I have all my parts here I need or all my accessories I need here to set up this drone or my drones. Starting from the left to the right, I have my goggles here. I have my GEP RC goggles. I have my drone here. This is obviously the Cinelog 30. And over here, I have my radio. This is the Jumper T-Lite. This is my daily driver. Really nice controller, compact, small, and has all the features of a full-size radio. All right, for setup here initially, the drone comes pretty much complete from the factory. There's not much to do here. You have the props already attached. You have all the bumpers already on here cameras attached. You even have the battery strap already attached to the drone. So there's not much going on here. We'll just go straight on to the computer, jump on beta flight. Actually, let's bind this first. What am I talking about? All right, I'm gonna bind this and come back here. All right, guys, I finally have this drone bound or binded to my radio. I still have it here unprotected or uncovered. I had to remove this bottom plate here and get access to this receiver here. Now, it's kind of difficult as usual with most drones trying to hit this bind button and trying to get this power lead in here at the same time so it goes into bind mode. On top of that, the protocol isn't as straightforward as you would, as you would think. Um, normally, for these FR Sky receivers, you would go to FR Sky in the menu here and also choose D8 or D16. So in my case, the right one for me in this one was the FR Sky X2. You probably see that on there. And then D16. So I'm gonna get this reassembled and then jump on beta flight and get this set up. This was supposed to be a short video. All right guys, we're here at the computer here. We have beta flight pulled up. I have my fan here, my trusty fan and my drone here to keep all the components here cool as I do this beta flight. There you go. My drone is powered. Connect and save it. Save to file. Boom, that's good. Ports, you are two, that's correct. So this looks all good for now. All right, props are out. Change this. <laughs> all right, so this looks good for configuration, power setting, 3.5, that's all good. Let's see here, pitch, throttle, yaw, and roll. They all work amazing. All right, modes. Let's see here, let's fix this arm switch. All right, it's in reverse. Wow, it's all good. Perfect. So that's done. Race band seven, just drop the power on that. So I don't need that max power. Not right now at least. All right, let's do this. All right, so that's all in there that I need. Put this over here. All right, disconnect. All right, that's done. Perfect. I'm gonna make sure that everything here works. Everything is in the right position. I'm gonna put the battery on this. All right, let's plug this in and see how it looks, how it behaves. Telemetry recovered. Telemetry recovered and I have an image in here. Let's arm this thing, see if it works. It works. We're just gonna go up to the table, do a quick look over put some final items on the drone and then go for a flight. So let's head back to the table. All right, we are back at the table here. We have our drone, we have our controller and goggles. We don't need this right now, so we'll put this to the side a little bit. We have the drone here. All right, so what we're gonna do here quickly is install some things here. We have this battery mat here and it goes right under this strap. This strap is already pre-installed on this drone, which is amazing. But I am gonna go with Velcro here. All my batteries have Velcro on it. Let's just peel this off. And I already trimmed this to the perfect size here. All right, so that's good. That's gonna stay on there. All right, next thing we wanna do here are these antennas. This may not apply to you. I do have an analog drone here and it has these two antennas here. So for the FR Sky receiver, they have these little antenna holders in here. It looks like straws or stir straws for your coffee. And it just slides through these wires and it goes into the TPU mount, which is good because these are already designed to be at a 90 degree for these receiver antennas, which is the optimum position for these. Cool. Next I'm gonna do here is put this here. This is pretty much something I really like is the little, or little stand here for the bottom so it's not scraping the bottom plate. It goes like this, try to get the holes lined up. 
pretty awesome. Just like that, press down. So we still have ventilation and we can still access the screws for the bottom plate. Now this drone here is designed for a naked GoPro or SMO 4K, pretty much a light action camera. Now they obviously designed this for that. They have this nice little dampeners there or dampers. So I do have a small camera here. I just got this. This is a Firefly X Lite. This is a pretty cool camera. I just did a review on this. So I'll leave a link down below where you can find this. We're just gonna take this screw or bolt and nut out. Perfect. All right, so we're just gonna tighten down with the wrench here. Perfecto. Now all I have to do now is just slip this camera in here. Boom. And now you have a nice little drone here with an action camera. And that's it guys, this thing is set up. We're just gonna go out for a flight now. And yeah, let's see how this thing goes. Let's do it. All right guys, we are outside here. It's a dark overcast and windy day. Around 10 to 20 miles an hour wind. There's a tropical system, a tropical storm to the coast of us. So we'll do the first light today, come back another day and get some more footage. Have my jumper T light here and my goggles ready to go. Let's hit the record on this. All right, let's go. Right, guys we are back in the studio and this thing is really impressive this thing is a blast to fly so let's start from the beginning okay so we put the battery in here I'm using the uh, four cell 850 milliamp hour and sure enough armed it took it off it flew like any other drone pretty stable we started in angle mode and it flew pretty great immediately I could feel the wind so you see in a lot of the images the drone is actually tilted or banking more to the left now also the image on the camera here the Rattel V2 I've used that camera before and it works really well really good camera I think is the closest thing to uh, being perfect on an analog system here looking through the goggles I have my analog goggles here 
it's very hard to pick up on the goggles, but never once did I ever see any kind of vibrations or jello in the image, which is pretty good. There's been a lot of concerns about if this joint is gonna be noisy. I know the Cinelog 25 was, had a high pitch, high frequency noise, but this one here was fairly quiet. Never did I have a concern that the neighbors or some people would uh, have some concerns or complain about the noise. So it was pretty fine. Uh, came back for landing and that one was pretty impressive because that first flight, I guess because I was taking it very easy, as you can see, I got a flight time of 7.25 or 7.27, pretty much over six minutes, seven minutes. That's pretty impressive for FPV drone. Most drones get between four and five minutes of flight time. Um, now, you know, GEP RC is pretty proud about this uh, chassis here, very light, but yet capable. And I know they advertise between six and eight minutes of flight time. And usually most manufacturers will say a time and it's not really accurate. In this case, it's bang on. Now the second battery was a mixture of just flying around and then trying to find the power in this, trying to see how well it can perform by just punching out, uh, doing some dives. And yeah, it worked amazingly well. Uh, never once did the flight controller freak out uh, with the winds or just coming straight down vertically or even in a mild dive. The tune on this is amazing. Now, Gip RC does have a good reputation for having good tunes on their drones, so uh, <laughs> couldn't expect any less than that. All right, so the last flight, the fourth battery, I had a 660. It was a 650 milliamp hour battery. Gip RC recommends a 660. I don't know where you're gonna find a 660 from. But I have a 650 on there, which is the closest battery that they recommend. And it flew pretty well. Um, as you can see from the images, I did have my camera, which is this one right here. This is the Firefly X Lite. All the images, all the digital images you saw today came from this camera right here. I had a chance to look at the video and it looks pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, Gep RC has gone from a five bladed propeller to a three blade propeller. And uh, maybe all of that, the tune, and then also this damping system right here, all contributed to a smooth flight. I'm looking at this thing on my computer and I see no jellos, no wobbles. Most of the shaking is from me, the micro jitters from the controller. So with that performance, this thing rates a 4.5 out of five. This thing is an amazing drone, but why not five out of five? Only because uh, I wish this thing could carry a full size GoPro. The Pavo 30 does or is capable of carrying a full-size GoPro. And I did do that with that drone. I did review the Pavo 30. I'll leave a link down below where you can find that or above as well. But that drone performed pretty well. I would say this drone is smoother to fly, less erratic. Like maybe the flight control in here is also, or the tune in here is a little bit better. So never once did it feel like, uh, what is it doing? So yeah, guys, uh, the Cinelog 30 is a GOAT if you can find it. Now this thing also, as I said before, is also on the 250 grams, at least in the analog version. I think they also advertise this as sub 250 in the digital version as well. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this drone in the comment section. If you have any questions about this drone as well, leave them down below. I will be happy to answer those. And yeah, guys, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Therefore, you'll be notified whenever I do drop a new FPV or a drone video in general. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace. So if you've seen my unboxing video, what? <laughs> video? Come on, dude.